Hey guys, how you doing today? Um, just a quick video here talking about VWAP, Volume Weighted Average Price. I got some, uh, some questions in the chat room today. Um, thought it might be easier to uh, just do a little screencast, see, uh, see if I could explain things a little better there. Um, so basically first the math behind VWAP is, uh, is pretty simple. Um, it's uh, it's just the amount of shares traded on any given candle, and then with the close of that candle, and I can give you the exact math to program and think or swim if you want, because I program this myself. Basically, as you can see from my screen, well, actually, um, let's shrink some stuff here. Um, I don't use any indicators. I don't I don't believe in in indicators. I don't believe in stochastics or or moving averages or anything like that so why do I use VWAP and that's simply because it's derived solely on price and volume and all it's supposed to tell and all it does tell is where are the average players in a stock or the market at any given time so we can actually this is just a chart of the spy that I figure this is a good way I actually leave in my main window here for the beginning of the day, I'll leave a two-day VWAP, and at the end of the day, I'll just leave the one-day VWAP. Here's just a bigger, bigger chart of the same thing, and you can see earlier on today, and this is just encompasses all the data just from today and yesterday. You can see it, it was it was quite useful here. You know, it shows this is basically the average participant between yesterday's and today's trading at any given time so here is one place that it really helped me out because when the market was fighting with this point it touched here and it touched here and it touched here I sat on my hands and stayed on the sidelines because I knew this is where the average participant was at that time um, so I knew that you know uh, if it held the bulls would be in control and if it broke essentially the bears would be in control again it's not a hard point it's not um, get rich quick scheme and stuff like that just this is an interesting an interesting way to see okay is the average person winning is the average person losing uh, later on in the day I'll go to a one day VWAP and you can see today there was really just it never looked back, it never touched, it never came back, it never, you know, so the second we broke this area from the two-day VWAP, it just never, never came back. So it can tell you what kind of market you're in. If you're well above the VWAP, it's generally a trending market. Sometimes you'll see it just chop back and forth, and you know that neither the bulls nor the bears are in control, no one really knows what's going on. Um, yesterday was a, a better example of an intraday so if we actually zoom in just to yesterday's trading this would be the one day VWAP for yesterday and you can see that earlier on in the day it came down to the VWAP and held got bullish when we came back to the VWAP it fought and came back up and just couldn't close above it so then that's when we had our, our sell off at the end of the day. So it, it helps just to say, basically a rule of thumb is if it's getting close to the VWAP, I, I try to sit on my hands because I know it's gonna, it chops around a lot when it gets there. And if we're above the VWAP, you can search for bullish setups. And if we're below the VWAP, you search for bearish. But really again, it's just a, just to help, um, try to keep me on the right side of the market. And today, a, really interesting trade I took with the VWAP in mind was GameStop. So if we go into just an intraday chart for today, you can see that you know we had this big sell off that I think everyone and their mom was looking at uh, bounce up and you can see it came right to the VWAP. So you can see that the average participant that was in this stock was still losing. So that's why I, I generally looked at for that as a short and I'll do that with geysers and with waterfalls. If it if this had climbed and climbed and climbed and then broke this and closed above this, well then the average participant is winning. The bears or the bulls in this case are winning. So then I might not look at it 
um, as aggressively short as I would in this case where you can tell that obviously everyone who was buying this stock today was losing money and everyone who was shorting this stock today was making money. Um, you can see that held true pretty much all day. We had a little base by the VWAP here and then a breakout. Again, it, I'm new to this. Um, just been watching this. I really like the concept that it's it's simply a snapshot of where everyone is at any given time. Um, just trying to look at another chart for today. And something else I look at for these PFPD and PFPU plays is separation between. So you know you can if we're I took actually this trade today. I took it here and then I took it here. Um, you could see part of the reasoning was we're so far away from the VWAP saying that everyone who is buying the stock is not only making money but they're making huge amounts of money. So that's ideally would make sense for profit taking to come in as well. Um, and you know you can use it as a rough target. Again, you know, don't claim to be the, the be all and end all or really know too much about this but something I'm keeping my eye on and uh, something that I'm watching. I had to, last time I checked with Thinkorswim, I actually don't trade with Thinkorswim, I just use their charts because I trade with Sterling Trader and, uh, and their charts suck. So I had to actually program in this VWAP to work correctly, I don't think theirs did. Um, anyone in the room who wants it, uh, let me know. I'll also leave it in the description of this video below. Um, if you need help putting it in, just let me know. I think it's a great tool. I think it's something to keep an eye on. But again, only price pays and only price action is worth trading off of. So with that in mind, I see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Hey again, uh, something to add quickly, I was thinking about it while I was editing this, uh, too lazy to go and redo the whole video, um, got some beer to drink. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine who was actually a hedge fund trader, um, and he was telling me that as most um, traders in the industry will actually get paid commissions off VWAP as a metric. Um, so basically, if you have 100,000 shares of GE to buy today, if you get less than VWAP on that day, then you get a commission on top of that. So the hedge fund manager comes in and says, I like GE, I want you to buy it, I want you to buy it today, but I want less than VWAP, right? Because he's not going to know what's going to happen with GE during the day, so he can't say, I want 100,000 GE at whatever it's trading right now, because he doesn't know what what that's going to be so that's what they use as a metric to see if these traders are good or not so they're actually paid on that metric as well so if they they see GE starting to come up to VWAP and they know they get paid if they get for the worse they get below VWAP they're going to try all sorts of all sorts of games all sorts of you know everything they can do fake bids selling a bit trying to short a bit knock it down um, so I think that's another reason other than it being very wildly watched and being a very good average of where every, where the, the bulls and the bears are during the day. I think there's all sorts of lots of uh, hedge fund shenanigans that go on around VWAP, which is another reason it works. Um, I'll try to slap this on at the end of the video, just something I, I was thinking about and wanted to include it. Alright, have a good night.